Hello and welcome back to the Toffee Blues YouTube channel, your source for all things Everton. My name's Thomas, back with an AFC 24-7 video. Uh, we're going to be play bringing you plenty more of these videos now the season has ended, the transfer window's opened, plenty of rumours flying around and today is no different. Um, plenty of rumours to get into already, so we're just going to start off straight away. Uh, Richarlison has uh, come out with a in an interview with a Brazilian news outlet and a, and a quote that Everton fans definitely didn't want to hear, he said... Uh, and I'm just going to read it here. I've evolved a lot here at Everton now with Ancelotti. I will grow more. Uh, Ancelotti asked me to hold on a little, but it all depends. If a good proposal arrives, we sit down and talk. But I think I can hold on for another season. Now, this has been this has been blown wildly out of proportion. I think uh, today on Everton Twitter, it's not really what you hear, what you want to hear. One of your best players talking about leaving, but I think. It's not really saying anything there. It makes a lot of sense if a very good offer comes in for a Charleston that's worth a lot of money. The club. You know they will sit down and talk about it. They will, you know, they'll, they'll at least give us some consideration. I think it's almost more of a a call to the club to recruit higher quality, you know, European uh, competition standard players, because obviously Richardson is way beyond the quality of the majority of our squad, bar and potentially Luca Dean. I'd say um, he clearly wants to be playing with better players. So he's, it's almost as if going in the transfer window, he's made this call to the club saying, if you're not going to recruit better players now. I'm going to be leaving next season. I'll hang around because obviously the appointment of Ancelotti shows a lot of intent uh, and a lot of ambition from the club, but he's not going to hang around if uh, they're not going to recruit better quality players that he wants to play alongside. Um, I don't think there's that much to that. It, I think it, it makes sense uh, what he said, that he wants to play with high quality players. But to be fair, um, as Terry from the Toffee Blues uh, said to me before, uh, and in the live stream that we did talking about a bunch of these rumours, which you should uh, also check out, that um, we want players with that kind of ambition that want to be playing with the top quality players, and that's how we're going to achieve European football if we want to do it. So not much to that for me. A quote that you can see why it's taken quite negatively uh, by Everton fans, but he's not saying he's going to leave this summer. He's not even going to say he's going to leave next summer. He's going to hang around with Ancelotti and he wants better players. Uh, now moving on and potentially disappointing news for Richardson who wants to play alongside better players. Uh, Serbian news company Novosti, I'm going to uh, pronounce it as, uh, have come out with quite an outlandish rumour today saying Brian Slavovanovic is in deep negotiations with Everton about a return at the Premier League. Uh, apparently he also has a contract offer from Red Star Belgrade but he wants to focus on agreeing terms with Everton. Uh, the Echo then came out a lot later saying this is absolutely not true and those kind of rumours are wide of the mark. I think... I I can't actually quite believe that we would be going in for Ivanovic. I can see the potential benefit. He is a free transfer. Obviously, we've got to comply with financial fair play. But he's 36 now. He's been playing in the Russian league for a few years. He's going to be way off the pace. Yes, he brings a lot of experience to young players like Holgate and Branthwaite. But do we want a 36-year-old who is at very much the tail end of his career? It's not like, you know, when we signed Gareth Barry, you know, it's not like, you know, getting on, you know, 30, mid-30s. It's 36. It's definitely towards the end of his career now. Uh, I don't think we can afford to be bringing him in. It depends what wages he'd be after. Um, but obviously, if the Echoes say uh, that it, it's kind of way of the mark, I think they're more uh, more reliable than a Serbian news outlets. Uh, but we'll have to see how this one develops. It would be a strange move. I can see it making sense based purely on the fact that it's a free transfer. There's no you know, transfer fee involved. I think if we were looking at a free transfer and the club wanted to show ambition, though, you'd be much more likely to go for a player like Jan Vertonghen if you wanted an experienced centre-back to go alongside the, the youthful centre-backs that we all have in Holgate and Branthwaite. Uh, but I can see this rumour not really going much further. It's, it's a pretty strange one. I think it's unlikely the club desperately want a 36-year-old uh, coming in the club. Benefits, he would provide a lot of experience, as I said, but how many years would he be here for? Would he play that often? I think it's unlikely. Um, kind of, we'll stay on transfer rumours. There is a bit of under-23s news, which we'll get onto, but we'll stay on transfer rumours for now. Um, with uh, Italian news outlet Il, Il Matimo uh, claiming that Napoli are waiting for Everton to make an offer for Allen. Um, obviously, he's been linked with a move uh, in the past few days, potentially 40 million, potentially 20 million. No one really knows how much it's going to be worth in a potential bid for them to raise funds for transfers they want to make uh, for Victor Ozzyman from Lille. Uh, but also, I think, Gabriel. Obviously, they've been linked with Gabriel for a while. And just, 
I, I'm probably completely wrong here, but I think it would be interesting if Everton hold off making an offer for Allen if they don't want to fund a move for Napoli to sign. You know, they are a transfer rival in terms of signing Gabriel. The, Everton are clearly very keen on signing him. Uh, apparently, if he, if he was agreed a while ago, but it's changed now due, due to the uh, COVID-19 situation. I wouldn't be surprised if the club are interested in Allen, but don't want to spend a lot of money, give a lot of money to a club who are then going to, you know, get a player that Everton are targeting away uh, from coming to Merseyside. Uh, I can see why uh, we're after Alan. Uh, I'm sure there'll be a video where we go into plenty more detail about what he could offer uh, in the midfield, and we obviously are calling out uh, desperately for central midfielders. Um, he is He's 29, I think. Uh, people aren't too happy about spending a high fee on a 29-year-old. He's obviously got a lot of experience, uh, Champions League standard football, uh, playing for Napoli, but... I think we're going to have to wait and see about this one. I can I can see why the club are in for him. I can definitely believe that the club are interested in him, but probably won't want to make any move that's going to jeopardise their own pursuit of Gabriel. Um, they don't want to fund, you know, Napoli's move for them, but Napoli do that are going to have to raise funds to sign players like Aussie Man. I think that's quite a high fee that's been agreed. There was rumours they were going to sell Koulibaly, but I think it's much more much, um, much more likely that they'll try and get money for Allen, uh, especially considering his age. Uh, but I mentioned we're looking for a central midfielder, one central midfielder that looked destined to come to Everton, not even last week, uh, Pierre Emile, Emile Hoybier for, from Southampton. Sky Sports News are now reporting that he's much more likely to join Spurs. We've known for a while that he's wanted to go to Spurs. He wants to play uh, European football that we can't offer. And that although we had made a higher offer to Southampton, uh, Hoybier himself was much more interested in a move uh, to London. Apparently Spurs have offered £50 million plus Kyle Walker-Peters, who was on loan there. Uh, so that would definitely be an interesting move for, South for Southampton. Apparently we're still keen with an offer of £19 million, but I think it's unlikely we sign him now if he's expressed that he doesn't want to come to the club and he'd rather go to, a, uh, to Spurs, uh, which is what he has his heart set on, which I can highly believe. Um, I can see him going there, especially it's a, it's a good deal uh, that Spurs have offered. Not as much money as us uh, up front, but obviously Carl Walker-Peters uh, is an asset himself uh, that Southampton would probably be very interested in. So I can see him much more likely going to Spurs now. and I I, I think this rumour uh, that Hoybier uh, wants to join us uh, or is coming to us is pretty much dead now. We're going to have to look for alternative targets like Alan at Napoli or potentially other players. Also a Sky Sports uh, rumour, uh, that Ancelotti's keen on signing Sassuolo midfielder Jeremy Boga, I believe it's, <laughs> he's called, rate, uh, rated at £35 uh, million. Pounds. Apparently Ancelotti was keen on signing him at Naples. He plays as a left midfielder with 11 goals and 4 assists uh, in 35 appearances. Uh, apparently Ancelotti, as I said, was keen uh, when he was uh, in uh, Manchin Napoli. Apparently Gattuso is still keen, uh, obviously the now Napoli manager who replaced Ancelotti, as well as uh, Borussia Dortmund and Bayer Leverkusen. I mean, it's a high fee for a player that has no guarantee of succeeding in the Premier League. I'd be much more inclined on buying a right winger. Obviously, he is a right foot or left winger, but the club are definitely going to have to spend much more on the right wing than they are on the left wing. You know, uh, we've got Richardson who can play on the left. We've got Anthony Gordon. We've got Awobi. We've got Bernard. And granted, Awobi and Bernard haven't been good enough. I can't see us uh, stumping up thirty-five million for a player. Uh, that's not in you know a position that we desperately need. They should be much more. They're much more likely to spend that centre midfield, right midfield, and then probably a right back uh, potentially or a centre back in uh, Gabriel. And then just to kind of round off transfer rumours. The 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 early rumour that we're in for Zaha, the Mirror reporting uh, that we're preparing a bid. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail on this one. We don't want another Zaha summer. He's not going to come to Everton. We don't have the money uh, based on financial fair play and everything, especially after the whole pandemic situation. We're not going to be going in for him. Um, it was rumoured that we were in from last year. I'm not even sure that was true. Of course, we'll be interested in a player like him, but he's had a very disappointing season for Palace. Um, he's not worth what he was last year. Obviously, another year off his contract as well. He obviously desperately wants to leave Palace, but I can't see us uh, producing the money for that. Uh, so I'm not going to go into too much detail uh, about that. Obviously, you can check out our live stream that Cam and John did, uh, where they do discuss it. Uh, in more detail than I will now. And just to round off uh, today's news, just coming off transfer rumours for a second, um, the under-23s are going to be back in training next week, uh, potentially with a restructure of the uh, Premier League 2, uh, which is the uh, the league that the academy's playing. That's going to be decided next Thursday. Um, myself, James and Terry discuss in our Brandsway video that uh, will be on the channel um, about our opinions on the under-23 system, how we haven't done well enough um, in kind of producing players from there and how we're kind of misusing it. Uh, I think it was nine players that we have over 20 
uh, that are playing in the Premier League 2, which is a lot higher than every other club. Uh, so we went into a lot more detail on that video, and I'm sure we will do again. Hopefully, uh, maybe a restructure of, of the league um, forces us maybe in some way uh, to play younger players and kind of move on players, you know, that are never going to play for the club, like Callum Connolly uh, and like players like that. Uh, and Kieran Dowell that are never going to succeed in the first team, but are just hanging around, and we try and play them in the under twenty threes, uh, which might be blocking potential uh, players like uh, Onyango, who's coming up through the under eighteen team, and Alice Sims. Um, obviously, most academies in the country, most under twenty three sides are actually more under twenty sides. They play a lot younger players than we do, so hopefully a restructure might force us uh, in that direction more. But thank you very much for watching. That's all for today. Be sure to let us uh, know what you think in the comments. Obviously, plenty to digest from today. Would you be going in for Ivanovic? Um, obviously, experience, but also a player who's thirty six, coming to the end of his career. Um, are you interested in Alan? Uh, how much would you be kind of willing to pay for him? Obviously, coming up to twenty nine now, uh, and it's just a potential rumor as well, just to round off that I've forgotten to mention there. 90 minute claim that we're in for Immobile, Ancelotti wants Immobile in a £50 million pound deal. 34 goals in Serie A this season, I can say that as an absolute non starter. We don't have £50 million to spend on a striker. Uh, he's getting on now as well a bit. He's, um, I, I can't see the club being interested at all. Uh, so I'm not going to give that one too much time. Uh, so let's know what you think about that. Do we need? Uh, where do you think we need to recruit uh, this summer? Do we need to be looking at a player like Boga for the left wing? Do we need to be going in? Uh, for Hoybier, if we're not going to get Allen. And if we're not going to get either of those two, who would you look to sign in central midfield? Uh, so be sure to check out all of our social media down below. We'll be back with plenty more of these 24 7 videos with rumours flying about every day. So thank you very much for watching and uh, join us next time on the Toffee Blues. Goodbye.